Good morning, everybody. <sighs> Last night was kind of rough. Um, Sarah was awake a few times and had to kind of manage meds through the night a little bit differently than the past few nights, but that's okay. Um, eventually, I think around midnight, she slept pretty good until about seven. So we did have a good seven hour um, <clears throat> stretch where she slept pretty well. I was up and down and awake and asleep and awake and asleep. So not the, not the best on my part, but that's okay. Um, I think I'll take a nap at some point today. Um, other than that, Sarah's doing all right. She was kind of a little vocal this morning and um, sleeping and awake and um, not wanting to eat able to drink to take pills so that was good um but definitely we can see other little signs of oh there goes an airplane other little signs um of progression like um, one of her eyes is starting to have a harder time opening and uh, she's able to sleep more um with less pain meds. Um, that's one of the things I was reading is kind of a, can be a sign of progression. Um, and then she's also starting to get more pain though too in different areas. So we are upping pain meds, but like uh, she's just trying to get comfortable. And I think that's more of a, she's been in bed for a long time and, and just uncomfortable. I know if I'm in bed for even like 10 hours, my back starts to hurt. So I can't imagine what that'd be like after as long as we've been. So um, definitely been doing a really good job of rotating her up on her side, sitting her up and just trying to adjust the positions on a regular basis. So, well, there's that. Um, why is mommy still sick? This is a question that I'm, I'm struggling with because our three-year-old developmentally can't really, doesn't really have the capacity to understand what's going on. And mommy's been sick for her whole life um, and really sick for a year and really, really sick for six months and like in the process of dying for the past month. Um, even even though she was walking to that doctor's appointment a few weeks ago. So it's a question that I've been trying to figure out how to answer to a three-year-old. Ooh, sunshine. And I don't know how. And I, like, I want to try at some point in the near future to explain cancer. But sick and owies are the easiest way to explain it. Not that the easiest way is always the right way, but I don't know that she'll understand. And I think it'll be more not hurtful to her because she wouldn't, I don't think she'll understand quite yet, but I think it'll just be hurtful on my end to <laughs> try and explain something to her that I know I'm pretty confident she can't comprehend yet. So. <sighs> trying to figure out how to go about this little hurdle, big, huge hurdle, and knowing that, yes, if I explain it to her now, I'm going to be explaining it to her again, and probably again. And I think once she's four or five, it'll it'll settle in, but, um, yeah, it's, it's, why, why is mommy still sick? And for, for a little person, like, she gets to go in the room and play in there and watch shows and, and that kind of stuff. And God, sheesh, Sarah lights up when uh, when Rayla slows down enough that, that Sarah can focus on her. So usually that's me grabbing her and holding her <laughs> so, so Sarah can actually focus on her. Um, same with Brayden when he's in there. Gosh, and Amelia, she just, oh, her eyes just light up. But I don't know how to explain it to a three-year-old. So I will be scrolling through comments to see if anybody has ideas. Um, but I think that mommy's sick and has owies is gonna suffice. And then I, I, I know 
I know, in the future I've gotta explain it better. So, that's been weighing on my mind. Don't know how to, don't know how to deal with that one yet. Most things that I've come across, I've been able to kind of find a way to process or, you know, compartmentalize um, and just be able to like, this, this thing can be set aside for now. And this is one that like, I know I have to set aside, but I don't want to. Um, and so I'm trying to figure out how to process that, you know? So that's what's weighing my mind right now. Everybody else is, I mean, things are going all right. Brayden's doing awesome. Uh, we talked and he's spending more time with his mom. Amelia's coming in more often. And um, we're just really trying to, to make some positive and make sure Sarah feels super loved. And that's that's like that's our goal. I know all of us, even though we won't admit it, are trying not to cry in there right now. And just because we know that Sarah's already sad um, about this, so we're trying to lift her up and fake it till we make it. Right? I, I I've always been very very honest. Uh, with Sarah and the kids and all of us have been emotionally honest and so this is tricky like trying to hold back and I know that nor normally we wouldn't but we want Sarah when she does leave us to be not sad for us that's all Want her to feel loved. No, she was loved. And not have to have that sad in her heart. So that's it. I think that's it for today. I think that's all I can get out. So have a wonderful day, morning, night, wherever you are. And as Sarah says, be kind and make good choices. <laughs>